Hey everyone, Matt here with Night Run Studio. Welcome to another tower defense tutorial video. Last time around we got our arrows shooting on a timer, but they're not behaving the way they should. This time around we're going to make it so they can actually deal some damage. We're going to add a cooldown to the arrows themselves so they don't last forever, and get them destroyed after they hit an enemy. It's a fair bit to do in this video, so uh, let's get started. So first off, let's get these arrows so that they actually disappear after a set amount of time. You'll notice at the moment over here in my hierarchy that these arrows just keep adding up and up and up. And when I zoom out, they just continue on and on for all eternity. This is going to be very problematic down the road as it means that our game is going to have to keep track of all of these different objects and it's going to cause some performance issues. Additionally, I don't want my archer to have eternal range. I don't want her arrows to be able to go on forever and hit any enemy no matter how far away. I want them to actually stop after a certain amount of time. So let's start there. I'm going to head into my scripts folder for this and open up the arrow script. So all we're going to do here is first of all head right up to the top. We're going to create a public float and we'll call this one range. For the moment our range will be time based and I'm just going to start off with a one second timer for our range. We're also going to need to make a private float called timer which will just count down the range. When the arrow first comes into existence we want its timer to automatically be set to its total range so it'll go up to one second. Then we want to head down here into fixed update. Now at the moment we have our arrow which is always moving to the right and we want to keep that happening. However we're going to go down to the next line here and we're going to first of all make our timer go down. So timer minus equals time dot delta time. And then if the timer ever gets to be less than or equal to zero. Now here we'll do a open close curly bracket so that we can say what will happen when the timer gets down to zero. We just simply want our arrow to get destroyed. So we're going to type in a destroy function here with brackets. And then in the brackets we just say what we want to get destroyed, which in this case is the game object of the arrow itself. Don't forget your semicolon. With that done, when our arrows first come into the game, they'll last for one second and then get destroyed works perfectly. Right now that range is pretty short so we can add more time if we want but at least it gives a limited range to our archer. Now the next problem we want is that we want these arrows when they hit the enemy to actually deal some damage. Now in order for that to happen we're going to need for our enemies to actually have some health. So we're going to need to create a script for that. So let's head to our scripts folder, right click, go to create, C sharp script. And I'm going to call this one enemy health as we might have some non-robot enemies down the road and we can apply these to them as well. Now our enemy health script is actually going to be almost identical to what we're doing with our tower. If we take a look there, we'll see that we have a health. We know what the max health is. At the start of the game, we set our health up to full. And then in our update, we just check all the time so that as soon as our health gets to be less than zero, we destroy the object. That's pretty much what we want to do. So I'm just going to copy all of this. You'll notice I'm leaving the open and close bracket of the class there. Let's head to enemy health where we'll replace the update and start. Again, notice I'm leaving those two brackets and we'll paste that in. This should work just fine exactly as is. Let's save and pop back into Unity. All right, so I'm gonna click on one of my robots and while holding down Shift, I'll click on the last one so that I can do all of them in one batch. We'll click Add Component. I'm just gonna add the enemy health script. At the moment, they all have 50 health. Let's make them have a little less health than our tower. So maybe we'll give them like 10 health. The only thing left at this point now that our enemies have health is to make it so the arrows actually subtract that. So let's go to our arrow script. Now subtracting health from the enemy is actually going to be pretty similar to how the robots take away health from our tower. So let's look at that script. So here we have an amount of damage they deal and then anytime they collide with something that has a tower health script they take away health and the amount they take away is equal to their damage. They then destroy themselves. This is exactly what we want our arrow to do. Let's borrow this on collision method here. Go back to our arrow and then just below our fixed update. So remember this is the open and close bracket for it. We're going to go below that and we'll paste in the on collision. So at this point, anytime our arrow collides with anything, it will fire this method. It will check first of all to see if the game object of the object it hit has a tower health component. Obviously we don't want our arrow dealing damage to the tower, so we'll change that to enemy health. At this point, it will talk to the enemy health component of the object it just hit, and it will tell its health variable that it needs to subtract damage. At that point, the arrow will destroy itself. Now, we're getting a red squiggly line for damage here because we haven't declared that variable yet. So let's go up top here, where we can make a 
public integer called damage, and let's just initialize that to 10 so that we can destroy the enemy in one hit to start. At this point, I'll just go up to the top and save all of my scripts. Now at the moment, we can't really test this because our arrows don't have enough range to hit the robots. So I'll just shift click my robots and give them some speed. Now we can see as the first arrow hits that it is destroying the enemy. Excellent. Now on this last one, however, the arrow spawns exactly on top of the two of them. So I got them both, which isn't perfect, but we'll make some touch ups a little later on. All right, we now have an arrow that has a limited range and can actually inflict damage on the enemy. I hope you found this one helpful. If you have, please be sure to click like or subscribe to the channel. Till next time, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.